beat from my top of the soul. In a fair touch of circumstance, I am not witness nor cried aloud. Under the blood of chance, my head is bloody, but I'm bowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms where the horror shade. And yet, in minutes of years, finds the shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, or how charge is finally to stroll. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Let's give them a round of applause. Is involved in, and that is nurturing young African American men. Uh, Horace has taken it to another whole level, and so we are extremely proud of the work that you're doing. Uh, the poem that you heard them recite uh, is certainly a poem dear to us, so that when they go off to college, at least they will have one poem already memorized uh, in their process. But I have come here, I'm honored to serve as an honorary coach. Eight or nine years ago, that God gave me the vision um, to form the, the Duke's Foundation. It formerly was the Duke's Metro Wisher Reality Program. And it simply began with just taking the young guys, um, shopping, haircuts, and et cetera, building that self-esteem piece. And I just wanted to do it for just a Christmas. I didn't plan to do all this. <laughs> but when God gives you a vision, he also gives you a purpose. And the main thing that you hate He'll make you love it. <laughs> so um, moving right along, that's how I became the Duke's Foundation. And my fraternity brother, Bruce, helped me name it. And I said, well, I'm going to name this thing. We named it um, Duke's. He said, use your name. Developing urban kids with etiquette and self-esteem. And those are the core things that we believe in. Um, that we only have one mission. And that is to make sure that when it's all said and done, when we reach those gates that we are lucky enough to reach those gates, that somebody can say that we did a good job and that we tried to help those who are behind us. And if you've made all this money, you've done all these things, and you haven't helped somebody, then you're doing no one any service. 